Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So I had quite a lot of comments about the new Windrunner update. I'm going to try putting it up against the Galaxy Class X from Hell to give it the ultimate challenge. So here we go. Okay, so I think with this, it's going to be a case of who gets the super weapon out first, really. If they fire their super beam, we're in trouble. But if we get our Cronus on torpedoes, we might be alright. Oh, they just fired it! We've lost our top shield, look at that! Okay, come on Cronus Hons! Where are you? I'm amazed it, it took it though. We're not destroyed. Any other ship probably would have been by now. Here we go. Come on, Chronotons, come on! Make the Krenim proud. <gasps> they don't work! Oh no! This wasn't part of the plan! Oh dear. Oh, hang on. We're doing a bit of hull damage. Man! I think this might be the only ship I've seen where Chronoton weapons don't work. Excluding um, the Year of Hell episode with Voyager, of course. <gasps> right, that, uh... I didn't expect that, if I'm honest. Should we try putting it up against the Enterprise-G? Okay, here we go. This should be funny, hopefully. I'll never underestimate the Enterprise-G. Let's, uh... Soften it up with some quantums first, shall we? Oh, ho, ho. oh wow, look at that! Don't even need Cronus on torpedoes, do we? That's amazing. Do I think this ship's overpowered? No, because it's from the 27th century. If, oh, we've got him! They've surrendered! It's like a few of you were saying, the design. It's almost like a mixture of Dominion, possibly, and Federation. Though I can sort of see a bit of Excelsior class in there. Wow! Well, what do you guys think of this ship? I think it's ace. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.